Mate, you and you watching Lord of the Rings? Yeah. All three of them at once. Isn't that how you do it? That's not how you watch a trilogy, mate. Come on, let's go. They're all ready for you. We're ready? Oh, yeah. Let's get started. Let's get started. That was cool. We're far up, Lil. Come on, Fellows. Fellows. Here we go. <laughs> this. This is up the guts. Roll the title. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, everyone, shut up. Welcome to Up the Guts for Under Week. Before we get started, I'd like to make a quick apology to Mark Robinson. Last week, I insinuated he was on a bender, but he was in fact fighting for his life in hospital. We really, really wish you the best, Mark. Now, before we get started with the news, I'd like to say we've got a new email. If you want any questions answered, just write in, write up the guts at gmail.com. We'll put it on the screen right now. But for now, let's get started with the news. First, to some quite worrying and terrible and terrifying news. The government is placing a ban on all vaping. The only way to procure a vape in the future will be through a prescription. And while they're at it, they're putting an extra 5% tax on cigarettes, just trying to slip that by us. And this is in an effort to stop children from vaping in schools. This seems like an overcorrection. Us hard blue collar workers are being punished for the crimes of children. Like, I'm 18, let me fuck my own life up, please. This reminds me of similar tyrannical government moves. Germany in the 40s, Russia in the 40s and 50s, North Korea since forever, and China right now. I'm waiting for the next election to vote this mob out. The leader of the KKK, Thomas Robb, has recently passed away. George Powell's dinners down in hell are going to get quite interesting and we might have to go down there to see how it's all going. Now boys, I think we're pretty free in two, three weeks time. Rob knows how to get in there and get out. So we'll get down there and, and we'll check in for you guys. Last week, Jerry Springer passed away at age 77. And it's, Jerry, <laughs> and it's lovely seeing the outpouring of messages of support for the old man. But if you really want to pay homage to that man, you'll go home tonight and start a fight with your wife. To finance news, Philip Lowe shat the bed this week with a further 25 basis point increase on the cash rate. That brings the cash rate to 3.85%, slapping everyone in the face. It's almost like he wants to ruin the economy for years. That's it for finance news. Global weight loss behemoth Jenny Craig has collapsed. No, no, not the business, just the head office's building's foundations. I think it's time for a draft. Clerky, since you had a bit of a rough night last night. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you pick one. The topic is best duos of all time. Mate, I had a successful last night, night last night. I got my possessions back, but <laughs> I'm sure we'll cover that later on. So pick one has to be the team that's won the most wooden spoons. So Carlton and, wooden, and the wooden spoon. Yeah, 100%. Deadly combination. 100%. I've got Matty Hayden and Justin Langer. Very nice. I've got Lloyd and Lucas. <laughs> oh, the boys. I've got Peanut Butter and Guy's Dog. <laughs> <laughs> I've got uh, Corona and Lime. Yeah, 100%. I've got Wario and Waluigi. Very nice. I've got uh, a throwback to 20 year old Alex here with uh, Siggies and Pingers. <laughs> 100%. I've got Daft Punk. Very nice. I've got classic 28 year old male Steve's hat and baldness. <laughs> <laughs> and with the last pick, I've got my dad and leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time for rats, crushes, and sure thing bets of the week. Quirky, you want to start with rats? You want to go first? Oh, yeah, I've got a lot on my chest, mate. <laughs> People who steal things from you. <laughs> Is that just the one? No, I also, I've also got thieves, <laughs> chores, and um, C bus superannuation. I'm still chasing you, mate. <laughs> I've got the RBA and Philip Lowe, fucking morons. And then I've got Mark Butler, the health minister. Let us vape, please. <laughs> All right, let's go to crushes. You go first. I've got autumn, seriously underrated time of the 100%. year. 
Uh, early man-made snow at Buller, huge sad. tick, and uh, the om ombuds ombudsman. <laughs> <laughs> Categorically, superannuation ombudsman. They are weapons. Hundred percent. All right, my crushes. I've got old Asian men smiling. I just love seeing them. Really They're really cute. <laughs> And then I've got Bill Nye. Did you see him at the Met Gala dating Anna Wintour? And just look at him, so I'll put it up right now. Just look at him! <laughs> All right, now, um, sure thing, better the week. Quirky, what do you got? It's going to be a toughie. Poured away, but bombers by four. At least at three quarter time. 100%. <laughs> and I've got Everton to beat Brighton Hove Albion 2 1 on Tuesday morning. It's time to check in with our reporter, Rob. I know exactly where he is. You'd be at the supermarket right now, Rob, wouldn't you? Yeah, sorry again about last week, boys. Let me just get to the frozen section and we can chat about it. Yeah, I think you lost your way a little bit, although not completely out of character. I do accept your apology. How's the list going? Yeah, uh, so dry cleaning's all done, uh, all five suits. They said they looked like they hadn't been worn, um, but they were happy to take them anyway. Yeah, well, I might get a job soon. You never know. You're not my dad. How's the rest of the list looking? What else? What else? What else? Oh, yeah, I changed your therapy session with Dr. Wendy next week, 4 o'clock on Wednesday. Or is that feel? Well, maybe 3. Are you... Let's touch base on that one later. I did actually draft a new come home letter for your dad. Uh, and this one is promising. Um, might actually work this time. Man, what's with your fucking handwriting, seriously? It kind of looked like it said go get a massage. Uh, don't really know what that's about, but I'll get right to it. Yeah, good, good. So once you finish all that, go home, get ready and come over for the party tonight. It should be pretty sick. Um, oh, who's coming? Oh, dude, everyone. Cashy, Quirky, Margaret, Megan, Tomo, Marshy's gonna be here, Stacy will be here. Stacy? Yeah, dude, she was actually asking about you last week. I better, I better get home, boys. Better get home and get ready. Yep, yeah, good. So go home, get that massage, get fired up and bring everything from the list and bring it here. Maybe I should get some flowers for Stacy. Dude, what? Flowers? If anyone needs flowers, it's the Cashmans. Finish the list and come here. Yeah, sorry again about last week, boys. Um, it won't happen again. Yep, it's accepted, but did you learn your lesson? What did you learn? Don't bring flowers to a party fight? No, no, about the other stuff. Oh yeah, sorry, I loud and clear. Don't take Dad's jag out for a spin while he's sick. Yeah. Good, good, we'll see you soon. Quirky, hang up on him right now. Done. All right, well, that's been up the guts for one week. Let's pack this shit up so we can get to the pub. We'll see you guys next week. <laughs> I thought it was a good show. And we all know why Six was afraid of Seven, because Seven ain't nine. But why was Ten terrified? Because he was in the middle of 9-11. All right, let's pack this up and get out of here. <laughs>